All right, so today I'm back on it, working on uh, the big alligator snapping turtle. A snapping turtle. Working on the big alligator snapping turtle pond. Uh, we had a bunch of rain, and every time we get a little bit of headway, it starts to rain again. And so, uh, made it really slow, fills with water. Then we gotta pump the water out, start all over again. Uh, but so what we did today, uh, worked on a little bit of edging around the top. Um, worked in some of these, some of the elements I wanted to incorporate into this pond, um, especially with it being for alligator snapping turtles, is I really wanted to incorporate um, kind of getting all of these, uh, like kind of logs and driftwood, um, and then having a deeper pool section. Uh, these guys in the wild, they really like having these pools to get into. And so that was something I wanted to incorporate into this pond. Right in here, this is about the size and shape of one of the alligator snappers. So they'll be able to sit down in there, come over to here. This is all gonna get filled in with rocks, but they'll have little nooks to sit in. And then they'll also have the ability to kind of come up and actually fit themselves underneath this log jam. So that'll be pretty neat. That's something that they do in nature. And then over on this corner, I'm gonna fill this in with some more logs too. Potentially even doing one completely across here. Uh, but still have a long way to go doing more rocks. Um, we do have another little depression here. And for this one, I wanted to do either a bridge or like a large broad log. And they have a little dip to kind of get down into. I'm also gonna fill that in with a lot of sand and it's gonna be full of uh, corbicular clams. But just taking a walk around the top, kind of gives you an idea of what's going on so far. Uh, still a long way to go. All right, so <clears throat> I figured kind of, kind of since I was talking about you know building a snapping turtle pond and doing all this stuff for snapping turtles, uh, I do want to cover one thing that somebody had mentioned to me. Uh, I think through DM on Instagram, they were asking, how do I tell the sex between a male and female snapping turtle? And they weren't really clear on whether they were talking about common or alligator, so I'm gonna cover both. Um, it's really simple, and uh, I'll show you right now. So, the funny thing uh, with the commons and the Floridas is, you can actually, you can actually tell the sex pretty early on. The males start to show, like, I mean, pretty much just right away. Um, this right here is about a, four to five inch male Florida. And as you can see, the vent is actually pretty far down the tail. And that's like the easiest way to tell. <laughs> Look at that face. And that's the easiest way to tell with these guys. Uh, males start showing really early. Like I said, this guy's about five, maybe six inches. And you know, you can see that right away that he's, you know, pretty obviously a male. And sometimes they'll even avert their penis and it'll show pretty obviously. So, pretty cool. And let me show you a female. You happy about this? So this is a female. And as you can see, her tail, if I can get a good enough grip and not get bit, there you go. You can see her tail much, much shorter. Um, much shorter than the males. Uh, the cloaca is much closer to the edge of the shell. And um, that's about all it is. I mean, Full adult size, males have a tendency to be larger than females, um, but every now and then you get some really big females. I, I would say the biggest common snapping turtle uh, I've ever seen was a Florida uh, in the Tampa area, and it was, you know, as big as some alligator snappers I've seen. And I know I've got some friends like Fred Grunwald has a huge female Florida snapping turtle, so females are capable of getting big, but generally males are the larger sex. Let's look at an alligator snapping turtle for comparison. We'll look at um, my buddy Lloyd Christmas right here. And with the alligator snapping turtles, I'll clean them off a little bit. With the alligator snapping turtles, um, it's not as obvious and it takes a much, much longer uh, period of time before they start to show. Uh, you can see, you know, that tail, that's pretty inconclusive right there. You're not really gonna be able to accurately sex this turtle for, you know, many years. Uh, with these guys, they really have to be, you know, about 13, 14 inches before it really starts to show. Um, I know some people will say even larger. Um, and then if it's a female, you know, nothing's going to happen. And if it's a male, you'll start to see that bulge develop. But, um, yeah, so with the alligator snappers, it takes a lot longer. 
So let's look at some adult alligator snappers and see if we can get a comparison between males and females. Getting these big ones out is a lot of work. <laughs> so it's gonna take me a minute. So this is a male alligator snapping turtle. And let's see if we can see that tail. You can see much larger, comes much farther down than it would on a female. And pretty, pretty obvious to see. Just like with the uh, common snapping turtles, the males have a tendency to be the larger sex. Uh, this guy right here is a pretty small male, <clears throat> but he is still growing, but yeah. You can see the kind of the bulge right there. Picking these things up is a workout. <laughs> I feel bad. I, they don't really want to be a part of it. And I don't like to bother them too much. So we're going to put him back and I'm going to show you a female. So this is a female. As you can see, the tail doesn't have that bulge. It doesn't come down as far as it does on the males. Uh, much, much smaller. And kind of a overall more compact body shape. Uh, you know, not as big. But the main thing to focus on is the tail. With these turtles, it's pretty much all about the tail. So. Anyway, just a quick video, kind of go over <clears throat> some basics. Those guys are heavy. It takes a lot out of me, man. You gotta have your Wheaties in the morning if you wanna mess with these boys. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Still got a lot, of, a lot to do, um, but I did wanna kinda make this a more entertaining video than just a hole in the ground. So appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.